Hello, it's so good of you to join me today. I am Althea Walters. I am a trainer. I am a productivity and a business execution coach. And today I want to share with you some tips as to how you can plan your week. So we know that most of us, because we get so caught up in the overwhelm, we get very much caught up in the pace of just going and going, you know, like there's no tomorrow. But when we actually pause to plan, it can help us. It can help us to have a direction in place. It can help us to see gaps. It can help us to, you know, catch up where we left off or, or to focus on some of the things that we really, really want to do and need to do as a matter of fact. So here are a few tips. One, so we want to make sure that you actually have a time of the week that you can plan your week ahead or your month ahead. Because what is happening is that because we are just going at the very fast pace that you know most of us go at, we don't get the time to pause. And sometimes we are using time that is not ideal for thinking and ideal for planning. And so it's good for you to identify a time of the week that works for you, that you can actually use. For example, some people may want to plan on a Friday or a Thursday or a Wednesday. You have some people who start at a Monday and they will plan. And then you have some people who use their weekend and say they're going to be planning on a Sunday evening. Now, the time of day actually is dependent on you, dependent on how you work, the way you work best. So for example, if I'm going to be planning, I would be planning, for example, on a Thursday evening or a Friday morning. And then if I'm ever going to be looking back at those plans, it may be late Sunday evening, right? Because before going into my weekend, I want to make sure that I don't have things hanging and that I can really enjoy my time as well when I'm not actively working. So choose a day that works for you and match your personality, right? So that is the first thing. Now, the next thing that I want you to focus on is to actually, now that you have planned out some of this, your planning, I want you to focus on planning your non-negotiables. Now, what are the non-negotiables that I'm talking about? These are the, the things that you need to do. You can't, let me just backtrack. So these are the things that are the ones that we don't want to sacrifice. Your non-negotiables in your schedule could look something like this. It could look like, okay, I am going to the gym and I'm going to be exercising. Right, that's a non-negotiable. So your non-negotiables are the things that are gonna keep you sane, are going to be or keep you in line with the things that you need to do. So for example, exercise is a non-negotiable. A non-negotiable may also be picking up your kid, picking up your child. And so you are the one who has to do that. So maybe you have to pick them up at four o'clock in the evening, etc. Those are non-negotiables. Exercise time that keeps you sane for those who exercise is a non-negotiable. -neg Your morning time, the window that you keep for yourself, very important that you keep that for yourself, is a non-negotiable. So those are like buckets of time slots that you want to make sure that are on your calendar, that nobody can come, up, come to you and say, okay, I have this to do at X time. You will know that, no, that time belongs to me. That time belongs to something critical that I have to do, right, for yourself. So those are your non-negotiables. Now, the next thing that I want you to do is actually plan your next most important things. So you notice how I separated non-negotiables from the most important things that you have to do. So more now you're getting into action, you're getting into the doing, you're getting into the business, you're getting into the work, wherever you fall, right? So you are now looking at what are those things? What are those things at the top of my mind that I need to get done, need to get done, that if I do them, it would, it would relieve my brain. I won't feel like I'm behind. I won't feel like I'm overwhelmed. These, some of these things are your big ticket items, your most important you may have some serious deadlines to meet. Are you putting focus time on your calendar for those most important things that you have to do, right? So it's important. So we spoke about one, making sure that you find an ideal time to plan your week. 
Then two, we want to make sure that we're looking at our non-negotiables on our calendar. And hey, I'm assuming that we're using a calendar system here because outside of just jotting down things on your notebook or in your diaries, your paper diaries, you need a system that is going to give you time slots so you can see when you're available or not available and you need a system that will actually give you give you reminders because hey we have so many things on our brain we have so many things doing and managing we can't stop to allow our brain to remind us everything so you need a system that is going to keep you in check and let you see what is available and not so we spoke about where am i let me backtrack so we spoke about putting the things um having a time where you can plan your week or plan your next day, you will look at your non-negotiables, then you're gonna be looking at your most important. And I also want you to really focus on putting those other items based on how you have prioritized them, putting them now, the remainder of those deliverables and those to-dos that you have inside of your calendar. So it's important that you look holistically at the things you have to do. Let us not, keep on rushing let us pause let us get out of the everyday buzz and let us just see what is there and if it is that you don't get to do it all the time it is important that you start start a practice start something that can keep you going set a standard time so you know that this is the day of the week and the time that i will be using to plan my week ahead plan my day ahead plan my month ahead it's important planning gives us focus clarity and it helps us with execution so thank you very much if you found this video very useful i want you to like subscribe to my channel or to share with somebody else you can the information to contact me at blazing beyond is below and i look forward to being in touch with you so have a good day good night good morning thank you very much